Martha, Martha, look, they made the white mermaid black, Martha. Oh my God, I am so here for Black Ariel. I have black friends, so I am very passionate about this subject. So what, they're changing an iconic established character's entire race. I don't care. I'm going to give Disney a pat on the back because they're like so progressive. Can we make a miracle white mermaid again? I'm Nina, Bro Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> Ariel, listen to me. The human world, it's a mess. Life. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nina Bonina Brown, and we are here to talk about The Little Mermaid and the new upcoming live action Little Mermaid movie. I don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be bad. The Little Mermaid is a 1989 American animated musical romantic fantasy film produced by Walt Disney Feature Animation and Walt Disney Pictures. The 28th Disney animated feature film and the first film in the Little Mermaid franchise. The film is loosely based on the Danish fairy tale of the same name by Hans Christian Andersen. The film tells a story of a mermaid princess named Ariel who dreams of becoming human after falling in love with Prince Eric. And you don't know why, but you're dying to try you wanna kiss the game. Did, did you hear something? To join Ariel on some of her crazy adventures, she has a few crazy colorful sea creatures around her, like Sebastian, the Jamaican crazy talking crab. Don't you know? And also, we can't forget Goofy Little Flounder. So cute. And she eventually runs into land creatures like Scuttles. Boy, look at that hair. <laughs> but Ariel isn't the only mermaid under the sea. In fact, she has five sisters, if I'm wrong, maybe six, who belong to her mother, who passed away from being captured by humans in the sea. As you know, in every Disney movie, the mom has to die. It's always so sad. And she's left with her widowed father, King Triton. Talk about a man, hubba hubba. <laughs> but seriously, King Triton is your typical father who's very grounded and doesn't want anybody messing with his daughters and he's really hard on Ariel because Ariel is very nosy. She's very curious about the world above and he doesn't want the same fate that happened to his wife to happen to her. But not all is peaches and cream under the sea. There always has to be that menacing, evil villain and I am speaking about Ursula. <laughs> My dear sweet child that's what i do who was modeled and inspired by the late drag queen herself divine and voiced by pat carroll oh and fun fact did you know that b arthur from golden girls that played dorothy was actually considered to do ursula but she turned it down can you imagine ursula with a dry like nonchalant attitude i can't so <laughs> fast forward <laughs> to now what the topic is about, the live adaptation of The Little Mermaid. I wanna be where the people are. I wanna see, wanna see them. I wanna be where the black people are. <laughs> I wanna see, wanna see them pimping, dancing around in those, what do you call those things on their feet? Chow, I don't know. Oh, Nikes, look at Bonquisha, she don't give two fucks, driving around in that Lincoln trucks, rolling up her sleeves, what's that thing on her head? Oh, weave, up where they steal, up where they pimp, up where they eat fried chicken all day, I wanna be with black people out of the sea. Yeah, yeah, calm down. I know it's that one person who, I look at you mocking black people. Ah, oh, I don't wanna hear it. As many N-words we call each other a day, stop it. But anyway, back to this video. So, 
I don't know why y'all tripping. Disney bring it to you every ball. You knew a live action movie of this was coming. But that's not what has the world shook of. What has the world shook of is the casting of Ariel herself. And drum rolls, please. The casting goes to Holly Bailey from the group Holly and Chloe. It's Chloe and Holly, and we are hanging with Teen Vogue, and we are about to do a freestyle jam, jam session. session. Now put it in the toes, my toes, and make that toes. <laughs> and I must say, these heifers are talented. I mean, beautiful, 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 beautiful girls. Very talented. I don't think all of the cast has been decided yet, but two strong possibilities that we know for sure will be Jacob Tremblay, and he will be voicing Flounder, and Nora Aquafina voicing the gender-swapped Scuttles. Not much has been said about many other characters. I haven't heard who's in talk to maybe play King Triton yet, but some of the fans are wanting... Jordan Fisher to play Prince Eric. But besides people worrying about who is playing Ariel, a lot of people are wondering who gets to play the vindictive evil Ursula. And it has been a few celebrities that I have seen express interest in playing the character. Such as the singer Lizzo, who's been spotted doing a Ursula impersonation. Choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. So sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Fly some, just some, yes, I've got them, boys. The boss is on a roll. You poor unfortunate soul. Ha! Huh, I swear the police sirens at the end of the video gets me every time. As much as I love Lizzo, I personally don't see her doing the part that off of that performance. It just sounds kind of flat. It's not menacing enough, but I'm sure with proper training, she probably could do it. But I don't know if I want to see a twerking Ursula. Another celebrity that fans have in mind is Queen Latifah based on a few photos that were surfacing the internet. I mean, based off these photos, I can definitely see it. Queen Latifah does have the acting chops and she does have the singing chops. So I could definitely see that happening. And there's even been a few of my drag race sisters who have been wanting to do Ursula. I mean, you got Eureka O'Hara, you got Ginger Minch, and I even believe Nina West or Darian Lake. In my personal opinion, as cool as it would be to have a drag queen play Ursula, I just don't know if it really ties in with the original story of Ursula, who was actually King Triton's sister, but Disney changed it at the last minute. So I don't know how a, um, you know, gender fluid or a drag queen could play the role and make it work, but I'm sure Disney could make a way. But as it seems to be going so far, Melissa McCartney is the one who seems to be who Disney's really looking at right now. And I know I've heard people say they don't like her or they don't find her funny, but I can see it working for her. But back to the girl of the hour, all talks were on Holly Bailey and the fan art has already been so ridiculous and so much love. Here's a few. Ah, ah, ah. That's what you are Unforgettable Though near or far You better sing, Holly. As talented as this girl is, 
there's still people that question the intent and reasoning of Disney doing this and changing Ariel completely. And I'm one of those people. So this is the part of the video where if you can't accept people that have different opinions than yours, then you might want to turn away. But if you're mature enough to handle it, please stay tuned. I should have been Black China. Hear me out, hi ho. I should have been Black China. Hee ya, ho. Hee I ho. Hee I ho. He and I should have had chicken waffles. He and I should have had chicken waffles. He and I should have had chicken waffles. When the bottoms are all on waffles. your Johnson. He and and the king he is, is by your side. When you try to look back and you know that he's fat, there's a Cadillac waiting for you. The circle of lies. And you need a new job. In the circle, the circle of lies. You know, sometimes in life, we get horseshoes thrown at our faces. And it's what we choose to do with the horseshoes that land on our face. I could take the same horseshoe and go to Toyota or Ford or get a Ford Focus, but I will walk out with the Mercedes, and I don't mean Mercedes Iman Diamond. <laughs> we just have to believe in one in another. Cause therefore, if I believe in you, then you can believe in us. In the circle, the circle of lies. And now that we got that out of the way, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nina Bonina Brown. And this will be a very, very petty, but a very real video. And I'm sure to have a lot of dislikes and lose a lot of fans but i'm at peace with that because honey it's time to cancel some of y'all's nina subscription now before we really get to it we are here today because i see that we live in a world now where if you don't go along with the sheep with the herd and you have your own mindset and you don't agree with everybody else you're canceled you're a bad person. You're evil. Now, I simply made a post because, yes, I am somebody that grew up when Little Mermaid came out, the very first one. And so, just like any other Disney movie, I was fed a character and a certain character on the way they looked. So, of course, if they make a live-action movie, I'm going to expect for that character to look the same for the most part, as almost every Disney live-action movie has been so far, besides, like, Maleficent, where we know she's green, but we know that her features are Caucasian. So, with, you know, Angelina Jolie playing Maleficent, it was a whole different story. It made her look less evil, more nice. You know, it was a cool change, and I'm all for changes. But let me just read what I said because sometimes I question, am I saying things in a bad way or are people just reading half of a message and then taking one thing they hear or sorry, or what they read and say, let me attack her for this. Cause I feel like a lot of my fans, first off, half of you hoes pay most of my posts no attention. And you only come out the caves when you see something that you don't like because you have built up anger towards me anyway. Maybe from drag race, maybe from whatever, but you look for any chance to let all your inner hate that you already have towards me out in a post. So let me just read this. Okay. I said, and I started it with a positive comment. 
Please don't send this girl any hate, meaning Holly Bailey. I repeat, no hate. But I have some opinions on this. Opinions. Opinion, one person's interpretation of an element of life based upon individual experience. Not to be feared, not to be battled, not to be destroyed, not right, not wrong, just allowed to be. First, congrats to Holly at landing this major, major role. P.S. She reminds me of Irish from the group 702 when she was younger. And I'll show a picture of that. Where my girl's at? From the front, the back. What is she feeling that? Put one hand up. In fact, I just found out about her. And I must say she's gorgeous and a beautiful voice. I can see the same kind of innocence in her face that I see in Ariel. Or Ariel, however you pronounce it. But Disney, I feel like lately has been trying to be hip and trendy and all about let's include gays and blacks, etc. to show that we're with the times. Now, every Disney live action movie has had a few changes, with Maleficent being one of the bigger changes from the original Sleeping Beauty. But this is a giant change from the white, blue-eyed, red-headed mermaid that we grew up with to this African-American natural beauty that my eyes so far isn't used to. Now, I want to pause right here because... I know that for some reason, get mad, I don't care. A lot of black people still live in, live in a slave mentality where I don't know if we have this built up, pent up anger of what happened to our ancestors in the past. So we just like have to be like, I'm just black and pro black all the time. And because I had a couple of girls, I mean, who look like the very natural Afrocentric girls who were like, you're just a self-hating black person. You don't like black people. All because I said that. All because I said this new mermaid is not what my eyes are used to. So that automatically makes me a self-hating black person. Okay. Um, let me just keep reading before I really go into that. Now, mermaids allegedly aren't real. So technically they can be anything or any race. But unfortunately, in Disney's The Little Mermaid, she was Caucasian. So are they going to just create a whole new story with a new location? Will Prince Eric be black? You know, these are all just questions. Will they still use the girl's dreads or put on a red wig? So many questions. And as a black man, I kind of wanted to see the mermaid that I always knew when I was a kid. And I feel bad saying that because Holly just landed this major role and it should be a time of celebrating. But something just seems to be off about it. Is it because Beyonce handpicked her? Because she is signed to Beyonce's label. And as we all know, Beyonce's doing the Lion King. Are they going to have a white or Asian or Latino play Princess Tiana and Princess and the Frog, the live film? Now, let me pause it there. Because the arguments, people, have the, people make up these arguments to like validate their opinion. They're like, well, it, you, it doesn't... Princess Tiana and like Mulan, you can't change their race because it's set to where to, it's set to where they are and where they're from. And you know, Princess Tiana is from Louisiana and the Jim Crow area, and Mulan was like the princess of like this warrior in China. So, but Little Mermaid, she's not real. She's a mermaid, so they can do whatever. But I can argue and say that Ariel, to the original book. A Little Mermaid seemed like she was like set in the Denmark, like she was Danish. Um, plus, she didn't stay a mermaid, she became human. So, the same way y'all are saying that you know, Tiana and Mulan and them are human, so is the Little Mermaid technically because she got her legs and lived happily ever after. Hell, and speaking of Tiana, people were complaining about Tiana. Oh, she wasn't black enough, her nose wasn't wide enough. Here's some examples. Oh my God, Tiana, a light-skinned black woman? Oh, hell no. Everybody knows that light-skinned black women aren't real black women. You're supposed to be dark. My Tiana is dark. How dare they make Tiana and Wreck-It Ralph to a light-skinned black woman? How dare they? Racist. And I totally got where y'all were coming from because she did look 
drastically different, but not that much. But at the same time, people were acting as if black women can't have small noses, can't have small lips. Like every black person has a big nose and big lips. You get what I'm saying? And if you want to be really real about it, ain't none of these princesses real. So anybody could play them. Anyway, let me come back to that. And then another example people try to throw up. Oh, well, Brandy is Cinderella. Well, and you saw Brandy went right to TV, even though she did a killer Cinderella. And I wish that she was coming out now as a young female and they did a Princess Tiana live action, you know, Princess in the Frog movie. Brandy would have been perfect. And because these deaf didn't do it, I don't keep building up impossible hopes and possible things are happening every day. To me, and this is my opinion, I think they only did that Brandy movie because they were once again trying to be like, look at us, we include everybody, which it was, that movie was all over the place. Brandy black, Whoopi Goldberg black, her husband white, the prince Asian, the sisters of Brandy white, the... <laughs> it was a lot going on, like just all this big jumbo pot of like different races to be like, look, we did that. like. Okay, and? And then I said, but I will be doing a video of this, which I'm doing now. Share your feelings below, but please try to be respectful as you can be, which that went out of the people's eyesight. Um, I just feel that if Disney really wants to be more with the times and include more races, then just create fresh new stories for us so it can be new movies and shows for the years to come. Meaning, let's use Let's use Holly Bailey, for example. Beautiful girl. I don't think she's Caribbean, but I think they're going to set the, little, the new Little Mermaid live action, like, the you know, the islands. They could have made a beautiful, like, Caribbean, like, beautiful black princess alongside Princess Tiana set, like, in, like, the Caribbeans. And that could have been sickening. Like, I would have lived for that. You know, or make an Asian princess, not just Mulan. Make a Latino princess. Make, make an African princess. You know, I'm saying all Disney is doing now is making just live action movies of movies that we've already seen and trying to throw in different races to be like, well, pat on the back. We did that. Like literally just taking The Little Mermaid and like throwing in a black character and being like, see you guys, we are inclusive. We include everybody. And I know a lot of y'all can't see that, all these woke people, that some of y'all need to go back to sleep and wake up again, because clearly you're always woke about the wrong things. You'd rather come argue with me about my opinion, and what you won't go and fight what's going on in politics, what's going on with Donald Trump, what's going on in real life situations, but y'all always want to argue with a damn drag queen who has an opinion. I don't have to share your opinion, nor did I disrespect that girl. Nor did I say, I'm not going to support the movie. I don't want to watch the movie. Hell no. Hashtag, that's not my Ariel. I said none of those things. I simply had questions. When there are literally people out there who are doing GoFundMes and doing um, polls and doing these like things and voting to have Holly Bailey off of this project and have a white girl. I haven't done none of that, nor am I signing any of that. Because regardless of what I feel and what you feel and what anybody feels, Disney is going to do what they want to do. They know they're going to make money and they already knew this was going to cause a big old mess and they got exactly what they wanted. People talking about it. And I don't know if this girl can act. I don't know what she can do. I know she can sing her ass off. I know that she's cute. And I know that even though she is black, she, she does feature... Ariel. Ariel has this like kind of wide face at the bottom and so does her and, it's, and, it, and, it, and they both have a wide smile. So I can definitely see it. I just had questions about it. Like, well damn, like what happened to the one, you know, that I knew? Like, is it going to be two Ariels now or Ariel? Cause y'all like, like to pronounce how people talk or say words. Um, is it going to be two of them? Is it gonna be the white one and the black one in the Disney parks? Are they gonna have the black merchandise and the white doll merchandise? Are they gonna push the white doll to the side? I'm just asking questions. And another thing, another example, like Aladdin that came out, people were bitching and moaning and crying, oh my God, that's not my genie. Will Smith can't be my genie. Even black people were complaining. No, we like Robin Williams, da 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 ba da ba But y'all were ignoring how bad the Jafar was. Y'all were even ignoring that they made Princess Jasmine 10 shades lighter. 
What about that? I mean, Naomi did a really good job as Jasmine. She really did. And her singing was really good. But I'm sure they could have found some beautiful, beautiful, dark skin, brown skin, Indian woman out there. I'm just saying. And I bet a lot of y'all who are like, yes, ma'am. A lot of y'all would be complaining. And I know you would if they don't give her a black prince and the prince is some other race. Because that's how people are. And another thing, I remember when the Sonic the Hedgehog movie was getting so much backlash. That so much backlash from social media that they literally had to take down everything they put out and go back in the studios after all this hard work that these people have done for this movie, all the animators and all of them, and have to redo Sonic because everybody's complaining because he doesn't look like the cartoon from the game. Bitch, it's called live action. Of course they're gonna change things to make them look more realistic. Like we live in a world now where so pe pe people on social media think they're so powerful that they can just like really bully anybody into like doing what they want or get canceled. Y'all bullied RuPaul into no longer saying she male when y'all know good and damn well she was not talking about or making fun of transsexuals. Hello, she female, she, we're being females, we're in drag, she male. But y'all made it seem like she was just dogging transsexuals. So y'all made her say, she already done had hers is. And y'all made Son of the Hedgehog change their character. But you're not going to make me change my mind. No matter how many unfollows, no matter how many dislikes you give me, I'm not going to change my mind or my opinions. And I am entitled as a black grown bitch to have my own entitlement and have my own opinions. And... The sad part is a lot of y'all can't just agree to disagree. Like clearly, and then people say, cause like I literally had to like make my page private and I had to like turn off the comments, not because you have different opinions than me because that's your argument. Oh, she don't want to hear nobody's opinions. No, honey, have a different opinion all day. But when you have a opinion with a fucked up comment and trying to come for me and talk about me and say that I'm a self-hating black person, that's when you're doing too much. You can always disagree with me with being respectful. That's the issue. This is how you disagree with somebody. Okay, I can say, I think Beyonce's voice, it's just okay. And this is how somebody can disagree with that. Hi, fine gentleman or fine ma'am. I value your opinion, but I think Beyonce has a beautiful voice. This is how most of y'all do on social media. Oh, hell no, bitch. You don't like Beyonce, so you so what? She can't sing to you? Well, why, because she black? Oh, 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 you hate black females, right? Like, do you see what I mean? Like, just foolery. Like, no. And another thing with some of you fans, I don't know who told you that you're important. I don't know who told you. I don't know why you think it's your duty to come to anybody's page and say, I'm unfollowing you because you don't share my opinions. Listen to me carefully. I don't care. Sweetie. I would have never known you and followed me. Bitch, I wouldn't even know you were following me. Why do you think you have to let somebody know you're unfollowing somebody? Because sweetie, what you don't want, somebody else will. Just know that when you unfollow, there's another follower trying to follow my page. And if you are that easy to stop being a fan, by all means, go. That's like, for an example, earlier I was on live, like always, minding my goddamn business, talking to my real fans, my friends. And some black girl came there. She was like, you know, kept talking about Ariel and Little Mermaid. I'm like, okay, okay. She said her opinion. I said my opinion. She kept going. She kept going. And I'm like, and then she says, so you're a man who puts on makeup and be a female. Are you saying that females can't be other females? What? And then when I called her out, then, now mind you, five minutes before, she was saying, I'm a, I'm a fan of yours because I like your drag and your art and your makeup. But then as soon as things don't go her way, and look, you're the one putting on makeup, being a female, looking a fool, looking goofy. But you just said five minutes ago, you liked my makeup and my drag. And bitch, you can call me goofy all you want, but, but the truth is most of you real females are going to drag queens and transsexual pages to learn how to do makeup and gay men. If we're gonna keep it all the way real. Child, I was getting ready to take everything off, but I forgot to like make this point. So let's play devil's advocate here because since people try to validate their argument with saying, well, she's not real, she's a mermaid, so anybody can play her, it doesn't change the story, da da da, zee blah, 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 blah,
Well, then let's use somebody like Garnet from Steven Universe, who isn't real. She's an alien. She's like a magenta purple pink color. So why do I see people get mad and say that somebody white or Asian or Latino that does her character is doing blackface? I mean, even though we know she's black, but technically, as far as the show goes, she's an alien who isn't real. She's a cartoon and she's like purple pink color. So anybody could play her. So I'm just trying to understand what y'all are saying. Hopefully y'all understand what I am saying. And we can come to this agree to disagree. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. That's all. I'm just trying to understand your point of view and y'all understand mine. And another thing, some people have some other excuses. Well, Nina, you be turning into different characters and Disney characters and things, da 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 da. Duh, I'm a makeup artist. I'm not making a movie. I'm not changing a whole movie. I'm doing a character for a picture. And then when I do decide to make myself look exactly like that character, even changing my skin tone, that's the issue. Oh, you doing white face? You're doing Asian face? And then when I do it as a black person, then it's the issue too. <laughs> like, I get it. You're trying to like make your argument sound valid, but you just sound stupid. So anyway, girl, I invite you to a wonderful land where you can unfollow me. Let me show you how to get there. <laughs> Welcome to the story of a beautiful black fairy princess who will show you how to get to a place where you no longer have to deal with any of her shenanigans anymore. A place with magic, sparkles, and harmony bubbles. A place where if Nina goes live, you no longer have to hear it anymore. A place where if her opinions doesn't match your opinions, you don't have to hear it anymore. Just across the brook, we're almost there. Look, we're here, the land of unfollow. Such a beautiful, marvelous, wonderful, enchanting place. Fuck you, bitch. So with that being said, all of my mature, mature fans, I love you. Thank you for sticking with me through the ups and downs, through the bad and good, and not running away when things don't go your way. One thing I can't stand is wish-washy people. One minute you're a fan, and then the next you're not. Was you a fan from the get-go? Because half of you people are just a fan of me from Drag Race. Or just Nina, but you're not a fan of me as a whole person. So with the ones who, are, who love me regardless, I love you back. And thank you for being here. And congratulations to you, Miss Holly Bailey. I hope you kill this role. I hope you and your sister get so much love and praise after this. I hope that you don't leave your group with your, you know, with your sister. I hope y'all keep singing. I hope that this brings you so many other opportunities and so many roles. And I've already seen some pictures and you already look so gorgeous. And I know you're going to do a good job. So regardless of me having questions about a movie and motives, doesn't mean anything. So with that being said, I just want to say to everybody out there, stay beat, stay beautiful, and stay blessed.